Good evening. I'm your host, Colin Bunston, and welcome to our program, The She Schwab Scene. Tonight's guest is Linda Lancaster, aka Linda Hooper at Home, a business analyst and information systems professional specializing in financial accounting, administration, and engineering databases. She has lived in Salmon Arm for seven years with husband Al after having been an Edmontonian for the first 50 years of her life. Linda is here with us this evening as the author of her new book, <coughs> QA Kiss Quality Assurance Keep It Simple Stupid. Welcome to the show, Linda. Thank you, Colin. How are you? Very well, thank you. Glad to have you on the program. So I'm just going to jump right into it. Is this your first book you've ever written? It sure is. I've done quite a bit of writing throughout my career, mostly manuals and documentation, scripts for seminars, that kind of thing. I'm a writer. It's my first book, and it's a great experience. That is excellent. Did you have a mentor while you wrote this book or to assist you with the book? Lots of them. Plenty of people that I got to talk to through the process and other people throughout my life actually it's taken a lot of different examples to put this book together to bring out the points that I wanted to so plenty of people too many to name <laughs> <laughs> so you had a team behind you in some ways to assist that's uh, very fortunate so Linda why did you write this book I wrote it because I'm a writer and writing a book is an option I saw an interview of Ken Follett, who is one of my favorite authors, and he said, writers write, and if you want to write a book, all you have to do is put aside two hours a day, and you'll have a book in no time. So I decided to test what he had said, because I had an idea. I had something I wanted to say, and I wrote a book. I finished it. Here it is. Fantastic. And yes, this is the book, QA Kiss, Keep It Simple, Stupid. Now, relating to what the name of your title is for your book, the word stupid in the title, isn't that a bit politically incorrect? It's a word. It's another word. And I think that individuals will put certain denotations on words they could be bad or they could be good, but it's just a word. The word, or the KISS principle was coined by Kelly Johnson, who is an engineer. And to stay true to the original KISS principle, I thought I should stay with keep it simple, stupid. The, the other thing was, when I was coming up with this, is that the Dummy series, I remember when, when first the book series uh, for dummies came out and I thought gee that's kind of an interesting word that they're using probably not all that acceptable in most circles but it's a s very successful series of books so I think this should work out. Well I myself I've read a few dummies books myself even on computers I mean we've all got to learn right? <laughs> <laughs> so the color the cover of your book is very colorful do you want to explain a little bit about the inspiration in your design? Well, first of all, the cover was designed by Colin Bunston, who I think did a tremendous job. <laughs> the book has an iris <clears throat> on the front of it, which is a picture of one of my neighbor's irises on the retaining wall. And it represents nature, which to me is the ultimate standard, and quality assurance is all about meeting standards. This U2 plane, if you can see it sitting like a bee, on the petal of the Irish iris is a spy plane. And Kelly Johnson was one of the engineers that designed, or was on the design team for Lockheed of the U-2 spy plane. The spy plane also has some other significance that I talk about in my book. And so in a nutshell, that's what the cover, and I think that the graphic artist did a great job on, 
on the project. I would have to agree. I would shake his hand if, uh, <laughs> if I ever get to meet the gentleman. It's certainly an eye catcher. How has the book writing experience affected your world, Linda? In more ways than I ever thought it would. I've learned so much about reaffirmation of my own values, for one thing. People's response to reading it or the concept and what I'm talking about in, in quality assurance, it is intended for a, a general audience and it is a subject that is slightly dry. So I do try to inject or a sense of humor and make it an entertaining book as well. It was so much fun. I, I really needed to write and with my work right now I'm not probably using that skill very much and so this book was an outlet to do that and it's just been a, a very great experience. I highly encourage anyone who is thinking about writing a book, if they write at all, go for it. It, it. It's a good experience. That's some great advice. So Linda, why write this book now? Why not say five years ago or ten years ago? Well, because right now in our world I think it has become so complex uh, with technology and all the options that we have. It moves very quickly. Things are changing constantly. We're in a global economy like we never have been before. And we're having a hard time adjusting to that, I think. And so they, I think that the times are calling for simplification. And actually, today I heard uh, Stephen, interview, or Stephen Harper interviewed our, our Prime Minister, and he was talking about how business has become so overregulated, and I talk about that exact concept in in my book and uh, so it's it's interesting to see that I'm not the only one that's noticing that we do need to back up a little bit and take control and simplify things especially for for the private sector if we want to see them move for me it was just a good time in my life I mean it took for the research for this book it took me well uh, most of my life from the from the get-go to write the actual book took me about a year to produce it so it uh, surprised me that I could get it accomplished in and in the time that I wanted to and as far as development in my own skills Toastmasters has given me so much in the way of confidence and I don't know that I would have written this book if I hadn't had Toastmasters experience so it's just the right time for me. <clears throat> That's great and that helps me segue into my next question. We have a lot of Toastmasters viewership that watch this show and I noticed the book focuses a lot on communication. What can Toastmasters take away from this book and how can they use that in their lives? It talks about the importance of communication and, and, and leadership <coughs> and how those are the things that we need to get into our lives and we need to take responsibilities as individuals and appreciate others and learn how to communicate with each other. Really celebrating the differences of the individuals around the world and appreciating all of the different cultures and, and learning how to work together. It's all about communications. Well, lastly, where can our audience get this book now that everyone knows how great this book is? Well, I'm going to put it in the local bookstores as of next week, but for now I'm selling them out of the back of my truck. <laughs> yeah, so. Well, one way or the other, out of the back of a truck, out of a store, everyone should get it. Sounds like a fantastic book, Linda. Thank you for being on the uh, program. It's been a real pre pleasure meeting you. Thank you, Colin. And I wish you great success with your new book. <laughs> Folks, it's QA Kiss Quality Assurance Keep It Simple Stupid in, st in the back of her trunk. So <laughs> look for the open trunk, folks, and uh, this lovely lady, Linda. That's our show for tonight. I'm Colin Bunston. Good night.